Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to another video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator and finally after what seems like a very long time, the latest world update for Microsoft Flight Simulator is available. Yes, world update 12 is now released even though it was postponed by just a few hours as there seem to be some technical issues at Microsoft. However, it's since come out and this world update focuses on New Zealand. Now, if you sat there thinking it's been a long time since we actually had a world update, well, then you'd be right. Five months, in fact, since the last world update, which focused on Canada, was released. So this world update is a welcome sight for all users of Microsoft Flight Simulator, because let's be honest, there are few places on Earth with such breathtaking scenery as New Zealand. Now, obviously, New Zealand isn't the largest landmass that world updates have had to focus on in the past, when you think of America and Canada, for example. But it does mean that what they have done with New Zealand is they've added lots of points of interest and, of course, thousands of advances in the elevation data, which, with the terrain around New Zealand, is quite important. Now, in the past, of course, with world updates, what you'd normally get is some cities which have been updated with photogrammetry, and so you get realistic views and scenery. However, what they have done for this update is they have updated the major cities and towns uh, with something called TIN. So these are now TIN cities, TIN standing for Triangulated Irregular Network Cities. Now, I'll be completely honest, I don't actually know what this means, uh, but they have gone to some lengths to make sure that it's not called photogrammetry. So clearly it might be something a little bit different. And if you do know what this actually means, then leave a comment down below to let other users know as well. But yes, Triangulated Irregular Cities are Auckland, Christchurch, Hamilton, Nelson, Queenstown, Taranga, and of course, Wellington. Installing the world update, or rather upgrading it to the latest version, which is now version 1.30.12.0, is actually very easy. And I'll go as far as to say that this was probably the most simple update that I've ever had when it comes to Microsoft Flight Simulator. All I had to do this time was simply launch the program, no messing about with an Xbox app or updating through the store. It literally scanned for updates as it does every time you launch the sim. There it was waiting and simply clicked update. Now, that of course is just the download for the initial upgrade to the new version. If you want to enjoy the beautiful new scenery from World Update 12, then you are going to have to go to the marketplace and download it. However, remember, it's all free, so if you've got space on the hard drive, then why not? You'll find World Update 12 is available on the World tab, and this is where you can download it. Remember then, once you have downloaded this, you are going to have to go to your profile and check out your content manager just to see if there are any updated products as well that you'll want the latest versions of. World Update 12, I think I'm correct in saying, has actually brought more handcrafted airports than any other World Update. And the kinds of airports that you get in New Zealand are just fantastic. You obviously get the more remote airstrips, but the international airports and the larger domestic airports, all of the approaches to these are simply stunning. And of course, if your airline are flying your way into these, they are quite challenging. Three new bush trip flights have been included with this update, including a historic recreation of the country's first air route, which you will complete in a Douglas DC-3. Three discovery flights have also been included, and there are four landing challenges, including a strong wind landing at Wellington Airport in the Airbus A320neo. However, if you're looking for a rather stronger challenge, then you can't go wrong with an approach into Christchurch. And this landing challenge takes place in the Airbus A310. Certainly not an easy one to pull off. The update even incorporates the Hobbington movie set on New Zealand's North Island. This, of course, famous for the Lord of the Rings film trilogy. So if you are looking for somewhere new to explore in Microsoft Flight Simulator, a place with unrivaled scenery, then make sure you check out this latest world update. Let me know in the comments down below how you've gotten on with this update. Hopefully everything's gone okay for you and what you think about the updated scenery and points of interest, etc. as well of course have the cities included and airports. The next update due to take place for Microsoft Flight Simulator is due to be a sim update, sim update 12, and that's currently scheduled for release anytime between March the 13th and March the 17th, so in around three weeks time. 
Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to leave a like on the video. And of course, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any future videos or of course, our live streamed content. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. Bye bye for now.